Kia ora guys, gals and legionnaires, Rykon here and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Leif's Tale. We're back here in the woods, we're back in Smoke Creek with Leif, that's the name of the place, Smoke Creek, I don't know if I've mentioned that before, um, at least not for a little while. In the last episode we managed to make ourselves a clay kern and with that we've been able to make a clay pot which is going to allow us to make broths and soups and all kinds of things in the future um, and just make more clay implements for us to be able to do things with and carry and it's just, it's it's good for us. Uh, we did manage to kill the wasp as well, which is a big deal. However, we do have another threat to take care of in this episode. We're going to be going after those spitter zombies because those bodies are going to be incredibly useful to us. However, coming up against spitter zombies still early on like this, it's not going to be easy. And I think we're going to try and think outside of the box with this one. And looking at these spike bits here, that's actually got me thinking. There's nothing that stops us from making those out there in the field. And I think that's exactly what we're going to try and do. I'm going to try and make a spike pit and lure them into the pit itself. See if that's possible or not. It very well might not be. We'll have to see about that. But uh, we're going to have to try and prepare ourselves as much as possible for that. So we know we need to have a stone shovel. I'm going to want to try and have our bow with all of our arrows in at the moment, which is what we have. I also want to bring the atlatl as well, because that does have longer range than our bow. So the idea would be to use the atlatl at range, as soon as they start getting closer, swap over to the bow itself. Now the issue is that spitters can spit, so it means that we're going to have to be moving around a little bit more. It's going to make combat a little bit more difficult, so... It's going to be hairy, to say the least, but we should be faster than them. So if we need to, we can attempt to run away. First thing we need to do, though, is we need to make sure that we're actually going to have enough water and things like that with us as well. So I'm going to make sure that we hydrate as much as possible. So first thing, we want to go and make some clean water for ourselves. We're going to go ahead and make six things, and we're going to go and consume the first lot. No, that's fine. We don't need to. Pour it into a container, pour it into there, and let's just consume the rest. Why not? And pour the rest into that big gallon jug right there. Now the gallon jug we could actually store broth in. Broth does keep for about like six days or something like that. So I'm tempted to take like a, a sealed stomach of, of broth with us. Now the thing that most of you have mentioned to me, which is interesting and it makes sense, is that when we fill the stomachs up, they take more volume because they expand, right? Um, so the fuller they are, the more they actually have in them, like the, the more volume they take. So we need to be a little careful with that. But it does mean as we're consuming it, we're going to have less in it. So I think I would like to try and make some broth. Um, we're probably going to have to empty out that gallon jug though, because I would like to store it in that if that's possible. So we're going to go ahead and empty that. And I don't think there's anything we can actually empty it into right now. Um, we can put it into, no, we don't want to put it into the clay pot. That's fine. Um, oh, we've got another large steel stomach. So that's good. We'll go ahead, pour it into there. That's perfect, so that should be everything out of that for now. Um, so how much can that store then, I guess is my question. The gallon jug, that is. I know it, it stores a gallon, but I'm trying to figure out how much a gallon is. 3.7 liters, okay. So I need to try and figure out how much broth that's going to be. If we make too much, that's perfectly fine. I don't think we'll be able to make too much, but we'll give it a go anyway, right? We can make four units of it, and that's going to give us four portions. I just don't know how much that's going to be exactly oh so we can see that's going to be a liter okay so that's a liter of broth there that we're that we're making this is using our, our potentially our powdered eggs and our eggs to be able to do this um so that's not actually using the meat which is interesting it's using our eggs to be able to do that i guess i guess i'm okay with that i do want to try and get some broth so we're gonna go ahead and use regular water we're gonna use the regular eggs the ones that we haven't powdered yet uh and we're gonna go ahead and pour that into let's see um, we'll just do a sealed stomach for now, if it can fit in there. Great, and we want to go and grab that sealed stomach of hot broth. We'll take it, and we shall drink some of it. Actually, but before we do, can we then make that into anything else? We can make meat soup, so you do need broth to be able to do that. Okay, so we might level it up, essentially, into this next stage, which, which would be meat soup. Um, I don't think we can do wood soup yet. Let's just have a look. What would we need to be able to do that? Wild vegetables? Okay. Oh yeah, just wild vegetables. Okay. That's not that bad. I think we probably would want to do wood soup here, if we can. Just getting some wild vegetables isn't that hard to do, so you know what? I think we're going to try and do that. We're going to quickly run over to some of the bushes and see if we can find some wild vegetables there. Um, there should be some just to the south of us. Yep, there we go. A whole bunch of them. So we'll go ahead and search them and see what we're able to find. 
We don't need a huge amount of wild vegetables here, but we do need some, so hopefully we're gonna find something. So far, we haven't had much luck, unfortunately. There we go, wild vegetables too. Great, fantastic, we'll take those, and hopefully we'll be able to find some more along the way. Let's go ahead to this large section of them here, hope for the best. Okay, right, we're up to four, that's a good start. None in that lot. Checking out you. Nothing. Oh, there we go. Good. Take them. Fantastic. Um, all right, we'll head back with that. That's not a bad haul. I think that should be enough for us to make uh, the maximum amount of it. I think we'll be restricted by the amount of broth that we have more than anything else. That fire has been very, very efficient, running for a long time. Um, okay, so back to there. Wood soup, how much can we make? We can go ahead and make four, fantastic. We are limited by the broth, yep, that's that's fantastic. So go ahead and make four things of wood soup. Oh, we failed, shoot, of course. I should have done it in stages because it's quite difficult for us to make. Okay, well that really sucks. Do we have any of it left? <sighs> no, we have an empty sealed stomach. We used all the broth, you're kidding me. Well, it's all part of the learning process, and that would have leveled up our cooking at the same time. It did. That is quite frustrating, though. God damn it. We can make some more broth. Maybe we'll just stick at it for that, because the broth we can make. God damn. We're going to have to use some more. Okay, we'll use the rest of our bird's eggs. Okay, pour it into the sealed stomach that we have. Son of a bitch. Now, if we were to attempt to make it into wood soup, I would just try just one and see if we can do it. If we fail, then that's okay. I'm all right with that. We're gonna use the dehydrated meat. Okay, we succeeded. Fan, wow, and we get four from just that one. Okay, go ahead, pour it into the sealed stomach. Nice, okay, and we'll attempt to do that again. Now, let's just check the cooking again. Cooking's at 39, so we got an extra 7% just from making that one meal. So this is definitely, it's a risky way, but it's, it's, it's how we do level it up. So go ahead. Let's go dehydrated meat again. Okay, we failed, that's okay. It does happen, that's all right. We're gonna go back. Can we not attempt it again? Wood soup, what are we missing? Uh, it'll be the wild vegetables. Okay, that's all right, we, we got all we could out of it, so I'm still happy about that. Let's go ahead and have just the one thing of broth for now that's got a slate. Um, we're gonna go and leave that stomach behind, and we're gonna grab the one that has the wood soup in it. I'm gonna take that with us. How are we looking for volume? We're, we're okay, um, because we, we do have the swag bag in our hand. So, let's see, if we're gonna wanna do this, we need to bring four pointy sticks with us, which um, that's possible. Let's go ahead and uh, I think I actually did have an extra one somewhere, but no, we'll just go ahead and quickly make some. Uh, weapons, we want to go pointy sticks. Uh, am I missing something here? Pointy sticks, there we go. Go ahead and make four. Make those really quick. Okay, fantastic. Uh, we actually have those in our inventory. Brilliant. Okay, good. And we still have space. So we have the shovel, we have those. We want to grab the atlatl and the javelins if possible. So, at Laddle, where you at? Uh, I'm missing you. There you are, at Laddle. And stone javelins, which we should have too. Stone javelins, perfect. Okay, right, we've got more than enough space for all of these things. Let's just step out, make sure that we've got everything. At Laddle, two, ja two javelins, four pointy sticks, we've got a shovel to dig the pit. We've got our bow, we've got our quiver. We could actually make some more arrows, potentially, if we have a look at ammunition and then go across to our arrows here. Yeah, wooden arrows, we're gonna to have to sacrifice a small plastic bottle to be able to do it, but I think it's gonna be worth it. We're gonna do it, we're gonna get another 10 arrows. Done, okay, those are in our inventory. We'll go ahead and activate our quiver, storing the ammunition in there, perfect. Okay, 20, great. So we're just gonna leave those two wooden arrows behind for now. And I think we're as prepared as we can be. We are still hungry, but as soon as we stop being thirsty, we're gonna go ahead and have some of that wood soup because right now we'll essentially be wasting it. It's midday, so that's the best we're gonna get in terms of sight. Um, I'm half tempted. Before we go much further, I do wanna see if we can plant anything. So just bear with for one second. <laughs> we're gonna see if we can till the soil. It's gonna take nine minutes, that's okay. We have no seeds to plant, but theoretically we could plant them. Is it warm enough now? It might be. Oh, it is. Okay. Well, we also need to do this as well. God damn. Okay. 
look, we're gonna go out for now. We can do this at night time, should we need to. So, yeah, but we definitely need to. We are gonna be planting a hell of a lot. We're gonna have a big field of all kinds of different um, plants. And so that also means when it comes to cooking, we're gonna be doing that as well. The wind is very strong. Ooh, are we feeling cold? Yeah, I hear it is feeling cold. Okay, uh, note it. It's just a cold, windy day. Hmm, okay. Let's not fall down any sinkholes, please. Uh, well, those wild vegetables will be rotten, right? They're old. Well, we'll take them. Let's keep on moving through for now. We're gonna... Oh, where is the giant bee? Oh god, he's actually quite close. Oh, you, you are quite close. Yep. Okay, so there's a giant bee up there as well. So we've got two giant bees. We've got one up here and one that's kind of a little bit further as well. Good to know. We'll go back down to here if we can. <laughs> Avoid the giant bee. Definitely. Okay, back down towards the river. Okay, we'll actually just do a quick move if we can. Alright. So, let's see. We're going to start moving up from here towards where we made our uh, note. So it is a fair bit up from where we are. Okay, so we can eat now. Let's have some of that lovely wood soup. Fantastic. Okay, we should be feeling pretty good about that. Enjoyed the wood soup. Excellent. Can we have another? Full and slate. Brilliant. Okay, so I think the wood soup is an efficient way to do it. It does mean there's a, quite a bit of cooking, but I think like every one of broth turns into like four wood soup, so it does kind of add up over time. It's worth us consuming it as soup rather than consuming it as just straight up broth. Okay. I wonder if they I wonder if they got it. Oh, okay, we can see maybe a little bit more over towards the right. Okay. Let's keep on moving up. So the bodies are apparently around here. That's the uh that's the cougar or whatever. No, bobcat. Still fleeing. Okay. Okay, so we spotted spitters and they are to our right. So it was kind of telling us the truth. Okay, yeah, I see you. I see you. So what we want to try and do is we want to try and set it up. Oh god, are you are you chasing us now? Are you aware of us? No, you aren't yet. You're going after the rat. So what we need to do is we need to run so that we can get out of range of it. And that's when we're going to dig our pit. So we're going to dig a pit right here. Okay, make it a proper pit. And then we're going to turn it into a spiked pit. So that's what we want to try and lure it into. So it's just killed the Gracken. So this thing means business, right? Let's go ahead and wield the Atlatl. And with that, we should be able to throw our stone javelins even further. But the idea is that we're going to be backing up to this point. We're going to be trying to lure it towards here. Okay, so where is that spitter? The spitter is now to the north. Okay, can I see it on my little mini-map yet? I can't. Okay, there it is. It's fighting a Gracken at the moment. Okay. Holy moly, look at that trail. Holy crap. Is that a dead... Did they kill the Graboid? Mego corpse! What the hell? There have been... Uh, there's been some fighting going on here. Holy crap. I can just imagine Leif being like, what the fuck is going on? Okay, so, we have you all the way over there. We can actually throw the javelin this entire way. Man, that atlatl is good. Okay, so I think it spotted us now. Okay, good. So let's start trying to lure it back. We want to go back towards our pit. We're still running right now. We need to try and stop running by the time we get there. Are you still following me? That's good. Keep on following. Okay, we're going to slow, slow our walk now. So this is where we want it to try and come up towards us, but it's going to be a little difficult for us to do that. So let's just stand off to the side. We want to go ahead and throw the stone javelin. Oh, hang on, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. So no, if I hit F, yeah, reload at ladle. Okay, so it is actually using the at ladle there. All right, we want to take a precise shot, but we're going to try and just steady up if we can. It's going to spit soon, so we need to be... Uh, come on, a little bit more. 100. Okay, we missed. That sucks. All right, we still have 100% steadiness. We're going to try again. All right, we missed. That really sucks. So we need to back up now, and we want to try and grab the bow out. Just dropping the atlatl to the ground. That's going to be the fastest way for us to do it. Um, oh, we need to drop the swag bag as well. 
Okay, all right, well, it's it's almost right over the pit now. So what I'm hoping is that it is actually just going to step right into the pit. Its spit might have recharged by now, but we are going to try and... Uh, we're going to try and get as steady... A oh, shit, you're kidding me. We'll take the shot. Okay, all right, all right. We got hit then, so we need to just start running back now. I don't know if it's going to be smart enough to... Okay, if it fell into the spit. It fell into the spare pit, that's good. It might be trapped now. It's stuck in pit. Okay, so let's back up. It can get out, I'm pretty sure, and it can still spit from here, so we need to try and steady up a shot as quickly as we can. Come on. Okay, good, 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 good. It did spit. We're fine. I think it's still stuck in there. Holy crap. I can't believe that worked. Oh, it got out. It got out. Okay, all right. Another arrow embeds itself in the side of the spitter zombie that slowly crawls its way out of the pit. Leif just, again, not sure exactly what it is he is dealing with. But this creature that's spitting acid, that's just boiling and falling from its mouth, is now riddled with these arrows, but he can tell that it's weakened. And now that it's out of the pit and crawling for its own bile, its own acid that's steaming up in the rain, he pulls back that final arrow, draws it back, and attempts to strike it down. And he does, the creature falling limp, its eyes rolling back into its head. It is now dead. Now, thing is, Leif doesn't know that these things come back from the dead, right? He doesn't know that, but, but, here's my defense on this one. I think he would be, I was gonna say, I think he would like know enough about like zombie fiction and stuff to think maybe I should try and destroy the head. So that's what we're gonna try and do. But also because this is a spitter corpse, he might think, oh well, the thing's acid. I'm not just gonna go you know, smashing this thing to pieces, I'm gonna grab my knife and just try and like stab it in the head, which is us butchering it essentially. But the spitter zombie had a basic repair kit on it, which has duct tape. That is just, th oh. mm. <laughs> that is an incredible tool for us to find. As you can see, it contains a metalworking chisel and a hammer in it. So it's got fine hammering and chiseling of three. That is not an easy thing for us to find. There's a raincoat. All that stuff is great. All that stuff is really freaking awesome. Holy crap, this is so worthwhile. Now we have to remember that we did see more than one. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that up for now. Okay, luckily nothing did get damaged by the acid then. We need to go ahead and wear our short bow for now. We need to go ahead and uh, wear our, where are you? Not, not wield, wear, swag bag. There we go. So we did get a, spoint, a pointed stick back from that, but that spiked pit worked really well. I've never done that before. I've never used it as like a, a trap when trying to deal with a creature. So there you go, that's, that's an idea for you. We're gonna go ahead and put a quick save in there just in case we do have any crashes. Do not wanna lose that, that was awesome. Um, we definitely wanna grab the tainted bone, the repair kit. We're even gonna take the tainted meat. Um, because we could dehydrate it and potentially do things with it in the future. No, we're not. We're not going to take that. We're going to take the bones, but we're not going to take the meat. Purely just because I don't think Leif would know or think to take it with him. Um, so we're going to take the tainted bones because at least he knows that he can use the bones to make charcoal from. I don't think he's, like, he wouldn't do that to a human. But I think with this being, like, a zombie-like creature, he might be inclined to do that. So... Yeah, I mean, like, we did it with the with the zombie shark. It made sense because it was a shark, right? It was, a, it was an animal, but maybe he doesn't see them as humans. Or at least maybe he's starting to see it that way. He did get a little bit of damage, but it wasn't that bad. Like, we, we, were actually, we actually came out of that really, really well. God damn. I'm very, very happy with that. Very, very happy. So we want to make sure that we go and grab our other spear. I want to come over here first, though, and cut up that paper. Grab the paper, yes please. Because if we can get 40 paper, and I know that's a lot, um, we're actually gonna grab that rock as well. Um, if we can get that, then we can make more arrows um, rather than using plastic bottles or anything like that. So there is a whole heap of mess that's going on up here. Um, a whole heap of mess. And we can still see an amoebic, an amoebic mold, which is a formless slime the size of a cow. Crusty bits of chito or chito yeah, chitoplasm fall away as it oozes across the ground. Again, something that, you know, life doesn't know what the hell it is. It just looks like the blob out of, like, old sci-fi movies. And he probably knows enough to go, 
I'm gonna stay away from that, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna stay away from that, but we are gonna come over here and see what is left of these other bodies out here. We've got a black rat corpse, we'll go ahead and butcher it, see if we can find anything useful. It was a pretty quick, or rather, a rather fresh kill, so we'll take that back with us. I'm still in the habit of grabbing rocks, yes, we shall be doing that. And uh, I don't know if there is still something there or not. It, I can't tell that from here, if there is or not. But we do have more bodies up there, and those bodies are going to have things that we need. If we see the ground moving at all, we are going to run like mad. I am just like waiting. Oh god, the ground is moving by the bodies. Uh, okay, we cannot stay here. Yeah, it's by the bodies right now. So, yeah, Leif is just kind of like looking, you know, he's standing in the kind of like semi-tall grass where he is at the moment, looking out at this massive disturbance, and he can see by one of these bodies just this thing tunneling around underneath the ground, and um, he's seen movies. He's seen Tremors. He knows not to uh, mess around with this thing. And saying that, though, it is over there. There are bodies here. There are even more bodies up here as well. That is, uh, okay. Yeah, something very big went down here. We had drug dealers out in the wild, which is a common occurrence in Cataclysm. But all of that, all of that is going to be very, very useful to us. Oh my god, that leather backpack's actually intact. We need to go for that right now. We're going to go for that now. Forgoing everything else. <laughs> uh, because I cannot say no to that. And Leif right now does not feel bad looting from the dead. So, we already have a makeshift knack sack on. We're going to put this on as well. It's going to make us quite encumbered. But it is going to give us more storage volume. Let's go over to our torso. Uh, leather backpack. Probably want to have the makeshift knapsack on the outside, if anything. Yeah. So our torso is going to be incredibly encumbered right now. Well, that's not too bad. The swag bag is actually creating a lot more encumbrance for us, but that's okay. Um, right, so, let's start off these bodies, seeing as we're here, and we'll work down towards the other ones. Um, everything here is useful, right? The cargo pants I think we're going to take right now. We're actually going to take our shorts off, um, the ones that we're wearing. Because I don't even think our shorts fit. No, they don't. So, we're going to go ahead and grab those cargo pants off this poor woman. Putting the cargo pants on, and we're actually just going to take our uh, regular shorts off, which do fit. That's true, they do fit, but we're going to take them off for now. Um, what do you have? Cargo pants that fit. Okay, well, that's that's even better. So, I guess we'll take these off for now, then. We'll keep on swapping out our pants as we find more. Uh, and we're not going to throw the pants, we just want to take them off. So, capital T. There we go. We got there in the end. We could find ones that are in even better condition. We'll just see how we do. Anything else? The crack pipe is glass. You know what? We might end up taking it. Um methamphetamine we just want to stay away so far like this this um blob whatever it is doesn't seem to be paying any attention to Leif and so he's like okay he's just kind of cautiously moving around the bodies that's an Uzi it's unloaded but it's an Uzi this is a drug deal gone bad big time probably a decent while before the cataclysm itself and I kind of almost imagine Leif not coming in this way. I imagine maybe he came in from the north, you know, following his way down the river before the cataclysm happened. And so this drug deal probably went bad, maybe even, like, could have been years ago. I mean, this is a huge area of um, uninhabited terrain. So for whatever reason they were out here, obviously some kind of drug deal, it went bad. Very, very bad. And this person with the unloaded Uzi uh, might have been part of that. Leather jacket great just all, all round good stuff i want to take the uzi right now just so we don't actually leave it here okay keep on checking out the others blazer more cargo pants we're getting awfully close to this thing now undershirt that fits rain stuff okay okay all right all good things all things that we are definitely going to take with us you stay away from us mold you stay away from us but we're going to check these other ones out first Cargo pants that fit, they aren't as uh, good as the ones that we got. Secretly monthly, as we know, Leif can't actually read. Uh, but that's fine. That's fine, we can still take it. We can actually, uh, we can get 20 papers from that, which is good. Um, it feels like a bit of a waste doing that, right? But I think we're going to do it. 
20 paper, please. Thank you very much. Done. Okay, let's see. And more cargo pants, but nothing else on this on this body. Okay, so we want to take all of these things back with us. I guess I guess my question is, um, hey, do we have all of those in our inventory? Did I grab all of those clothes? Huh, I don't remember doing that. Uh, yeah, that's like a whole heap of things. Um, we aren't going to use... Or, oh, so that was from... Yeah, that would have been from the spitter zombie. Um, we're going to cut some of these things up here. Um, because we're not going to use all of them, right? And butchering is the way to do it. Because we can't, we can't disassemble these. You can only seem to disassemble things you've actually made yourself. Um, so a lot of them we're actually going to end up taking apart, like the sweater, the raincoat I think we might leave intact just until we know for sure that we don't have any others. Um, the, I guess the only caveat here is that these things we will actually want to leave intact, because if we, if we take them apart now while they're filthy, then that'll really suck for us later on, because, uh, it means we have to clean every single rag so it's better for us to clean it while it's like that now so i think what we, what we want to do is come over to here and essentially just butcher um i would say cut up all we can but that would also include the human we don't want to do that so we got six rags out of that that's good okay not bad seven rags we'll take it uh another way for us to do this is just to transfer everything but or rather just transfer the body onto another square that works too um so is there anything there that we want to keep maybe the sweatshirt the sweatshirt's got pretty good warmth on it but at the same time i think we're going to be able to make things that can be warmer than that and at least better than that but we are going to need all of these to be able to do it so we managed to get some leather patches out of that as well we are definitely going to be taking everything this is probably going to be a few trips there and back but i want to stay a little zoomed out because we need to keep a track on this you know disturbed earth that we're near because um that could also have been part of the cause you know to what happened to these bodies uh we we know nothing we know nothing but we're gonna try and cut up all we can okay 10 leather patches is amazing okay look we're gonna have to take what we have right now we're gonna have to go back with what we have but i think that that was damn successful we, we've come away with all of our did we get not get both of our javelins back shoot well, maybe when we hit it with one of them, the javelin disappeared, because there's no other javelins around here, just the pointy stick. Damn. So we did lose one of them. That's okay. I mean, that's that's. I'm okay with the cost of that. Definitely okay with the cost of that, for uh, getting that kill and uh, getting everything off it. Okay, more paper. I think that's pretty much a given now. Whenever we find a newspaper like this, we just want to disassemble it. Same with the one that's over there as well. Oh, we've got two of them. Also, because Leif can't read them, we're not going to read them. Uh, pick up newspaper pages. Uh, okay. I thought I butchered you, but apparently we didn't. Grab you. Grab the bones. Because with the bones, we are going to be able to make bone broth. Uh, right, we can't carry them. That's fine. That's fine. Make our way back home. And as soon as we get to the shore, that's when we're kind of safe. The giant bee is still further in the forest but we need to be aware of that like our hunting area isn't uh, completely clear yet and we also need to be aware that we are going to need to hunt more as well we need to hunt more and we need to gather more but i think for the rest of today rather than go back out there because we don't have too much daylight left we are going to be um doing some work trying to just till as much of the ground here as we can um, so let's see we want to try and drop off a whole heap of these things we're dropping off the leather patches paper etc the tainted bones and the rest we're going to go ahead and put those into the fire let's go and drop off you you and uh, we should probably drink some more of the wood soup i really want to use the wild vegetables before they go off um newspaper page we want to go ahead and just tear you up disassemble uh whoops what did i do then there we go get rid of you uh right rocks javelin uzi <laughs> uzi i wasn't expecting that that little that can go back for now uh the stone shovel we're going to hold on to the repair kit can go up there as well definitely okay now i'd like to see if we can make a washboard 
we can. We can make one right away. Fantastic. But I think we'd need soap, right? We need a cleansing agent. So we'll make this for now because we can make it. Just need a 2x4 to be able to do it. That's fine. Uh, but we need a, we need some kind of soap to be able to clean with it. So if we were to make soap, we probably need lard. Yeah, lard and lye. Okay. Well, it'd be good for us to be able to do that eventually. But uh, it's something that we're not going to be able to do just yet, if not for a while. So we're going to have to leave um, these other bits and pieces just on the side. We'll probably just leave those with the clogs. Because we can. We've still got some shorts and cargo pants that we can do stuff with. But right now, we're just going to go ahead and till the earth here. Till the soil. Okay, we're hungry. Let's go ahead and have some of that wood soup. Perfect. Till the ground. Okay. And we're going to keep it kind of contained. Like this, just for now. Because we want to try and keep an eye on our crop, essentially. Go along like this. And we're going to fill in that pit we made as well. There we go. Okay, alright, while we've still got some sunlight and before it gets too cold, let's go and see if we can plant the rest of these seeds, eh? Grab those as well. Let's go ahead and plant all the rhubarb up here if we can. Rhubarb stems. Okay, we've got one more rhubarb. Go ahead and put it down. Get the bee balm. Time, time. And jumping back up to here, we're going to go ahead and get some of the wood into the fire. Uh, speaking of that, where is it? Splintered wood. There we go. We're going to take 30 this time, because I think last time we took too much. Um, move. There we go. That'll be fine. And we're going to use that lighter. Cool. Okay. We're thirsty. We can deal with that easy enough. Let's just have the soup. Um, okay. Wasn't enough. That's fine. Have some water. Okay. All right. Now that we have some firelight still, let's go ahead and under food, we want to try and get some more seeds out of the things that we do have. So, uh, do we get seeds as a byproduct of any of these? It doesn't look like we do. So the bee balm, we actually just consume the bee balm. Uh, but to get like, okay, so wild vegetable stems, we do want to grow some more. So let's go ahead and turn those two old ones that we've got into stems so we can replant them. That'll be good at the very least. And let's see, is that under other? Yes, okay, so other is what we're wanting to look for. So dogbane, um, what can we do with dogbane? Not sure, but um, we'll go ahead and just get the seeds from them, because we can. Uh, no, it's actually food we want to go to. Food and then other. Bee balm seeds. And we want to do the same thing for the rhubarb as well. So we can just plant a whole heap of it. Uh, I will learn how to do that eventually. Okay, rhubarb seeds. Okay, so we need quite a bit of rhubarb to be able to do that, it would seem. Okay, uh, dandelion seeds, we're definitely going to do that for, and the thyme as well. Alright, spend a bit of time doing that. Uh -huh. Okay, and finally dandelion seeds. That should be enough, right? Yeah. Six. Okay. Boom. Done. Brilliant. So we should have a whole heap of seeds now, uh, and that we do. Fantastic, that's uh, that's a heap. Okay, excellent. It's getting a little late though, so we need to be mindful of that. Let's go down here. It's too cold. Damn it, of course it's too cold. All right, well fine. We'll go ahead and leave all the seeds here for now, but we want to go and get all of those planted, definitely. And we're going to have to try and sleep the night away. We're not really tired yet, but we probably should try and sleep. So, all ourselves in and attempt to go to sleep if we can. Okay. We succeeded. That's good. <sighs> I feel like we're doing pretty good. Those extra bodies are such a good find. Very, very happy with that. And we seem to be waking up pretty well with the morning, most mornings. So that I'm liking as well. We just need to never walk out there by accident. Okay, so we're hungry and thirsty. We can deal with that. Let the day heat up a little bit. We're on day 18 now, which is pretty sweet. Um, we are going to attempt to try and make some more broth, I would think. Um, although, looking at this, the bone broth does take quite a long time for us to brew. Yeah. Quite a while, in fact. 
actually it's not as bad when we kind of go further along. Let's go ahead and brew two things of bone broth if we can, that's an hour and a half. Okay, do we succeed? And that we do. We'll just go ahead and put it in the sealed stomach for now. And I don't think we're going to be able to make wood soup because we're lacking in anything else for the time being, but we should be able to just have some. We've got some raw offal and some meat, so we'll just use some of our charcoal to do this now. We're going to make some cooked meat and we're going to make some cooked offal as well. There we go, nice and easy. Okay, we'll have the offal first, and then we'll have the hot meat, and then we shall just drink some water. Then save the bone broth for later in the day. Now these, ideally we'll be able to plant them, we'll see if we can. Uh, I think we were planting the thyme first, so let's just keep on, oh, you're kidding me. Okay, so it might have to be later in the day, or it could just have to be a sunny day for us to do it. Doesn't mean that we can't go ahead and continue uh, tilling more of the ground. I think I'm going to go further back here. So let's just look at yeah, till the soil. Okay. Oh, not what I want to do. And we'll just go right back to here. We're farming now, we're moving into agriculture, this is a big deal. Now that we can finally actually get some of these things in the ground. Keep going. Rock and a sock? Damn it! <laughs> I did not want to make a rock and a sock. Did I just use my socks to be able to do that? Son of a gun. Can I disassemble you? I can, can't I? Give me a sock back, please. I want to wear my socks again. Thank you. <laughs> That's crafting for you. Just take my socks off, put a rock in it accidentally, and then be like, why do I do that? And then just take it out, put my socks back on. Weird, I know. We have no seeds to plant. Does that mean that we could potentially plant them? Is it, is it? Oh, good. Okay, yes, we totally freaking can. Excellent. Okay, well, let's just keep on planting time for now then. Work it down there. Okay, great. So we were doing uh, rhubarb up there, right? So do we have any more rhubarb? We do, we have four, so we can almost get it all done. I hate to have one just hanging out on the end there, but I guess we have to. Um, what else doesn't have a lot of? Dogbane, could do some dogbane as well. Work it down here. We definitely want to get a whole heap of those dandelions planted, if we can. Uh, we'll finish that off for bee balm. Do that down there. And you as well. Fantastic. Now we just need to do some more tilling of soil. Uh, no, not there though. Tap the ground. There we go. Till the soil. Because essentially we can work on two sides when we walk down here, so we can harvest from both sides as we're doing it, so, yeah. And I will actually harvest properly this time, because I was relying on the, on the sprites being like a certain colour, or, you know, just being more noticeable in the change. But uh, once they're grown, they're grown, and we should be able to figure that out from now on. Okay, I'll, I'll definitely accept the save, it's been a long time since we've done it. Um, let's take the wild vegetable stems and the dandelions, because uh, we'll try and get both of them planted. I'm going to start down this end with the wild vegetable stems, just because they're going to be a damn useful piece of... God damn it. That's annoying. That's going to that's gonna annoy the crap out of me. Oh well, it is what it is now, I can't change it. Alright, let's do another line. And... Uh, I am going to stop it before we actually reach that bush, because that bush can still yield. You know, bird's eggs, lizard eggs, wild vegetables, we can still find all kinds of things in them. So we'll need to give it the chance to recover. Till the soil. Okay, alright, we're going to fill the rest of this with dandelion seeds. And we'll have a few spots left over as well, so it's good stuff. Ha! <sighs> alright took a bit but we got there in the end and it's not a bad little plot that we have sitting next to our cabin I think all things considered things are looking up for us at the moment we're gonna have some of that broth that's gonna feel pretty nice still a little hungry after that we can have some water no we don't need to though apparently let's jump back into our food and see what we can do um, we should probably look at trying to process some of these other things 
So the shelled hickory nuts or the roasted hickory nuts. Okay, so we can roast them. Oh, we need shelled first though, right? How long does it take us to shell them? Not that long at all. Let's go ahead and shell them all. Okay, jump back into there. We can do acorn meal. That's something that we want to do as well. It just, it's another thing that takes time. But um, I think it's probably going to be worth us doing it. We might just go ahead and roast these hickory nuts for now though. Oh, they take quite a while to roast. Yeah, quite a while. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. We'll cook, we'll cook something else for the time being then. Uh, we can make some flatbread. We can make some pine nuts from the pine cones. Yeah, that's worth us doing. It doesn't take us long for us to do it, so we'll do that. Um, do I want to make some scrambled eggs? Yeah, I think we will. Just use some of the powdered eggs. That's all right. Go ahead, do that. Uh, we do need to go out and hunt. Okay, but I want to be able to cook up some of this acorn meal or make bone meal. So we are using a kern to be able to do it. So we do have a kern. We don't need to worry about making a clay one. That's fine. We use a mortar and pestle to do them as well, but I think it takes a lot longer. Yeah, an hour and 30 minutes. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so let's try and make some cooked acorn meal. Boom. How much can we make? That is how much we can make. Okay, well, let's do it. Because what we are wanting to do here is make flour. Oh, we're not very happy. So let's go ahead and grab our, uh, we'll grab our flute. Grab the bone flute. Wield the bone flute. If, oh, has it forgotten what it was? I think it has. Oh no, there it is. All right, we got the bone flute. Activate the bone flute. Fantastic, it stopped raining as well. Should we should be feeling a little bit better. Yeah. Oh, we're hot currently. Our arms are hot, okay. What do we got going on in our arms? Um, let's see. The neoprene arm sleeves might be a little too much for us at the moment, so let's go ahead and just take them off for now. Yeah, that should help us out. Good, fantastic. Um, I guess we don't have to be super encumbered with the swag bag just while we're sitting here, so we'll go ahead and drop that back. Okay, all right. So we have done the acorn meal. Oh, we didn't do the acorn meal. Okay, let's do it now then. Okay, fantastic. All right, so now we can make flour from the acorn meal. It's gonna take us a bit to be able to do it, but you know what? We're gonna freaking do it. And we're definitely doing it with the kern. Okay, we can only make one. It's gonna take 45 minutes for us to be able to do it, but uh, we failed. Okay, all right, so it is a little bit more difficult for us to do. Let's have some water, and we're gonna attempt again, hopefully not wasting any resources this time, but our cooking is getting higher. We're at 74% now. We should be able to get a level up soon. Okay, we did it. We actually successfully crafted flour. Brilliant. So that's even more flour. We should have 10 from that, and that we do. Let's go ahead and drop all of those bits and pieces onto the ground. We don't need them anymore. Let's just see if we can make any other types of flour. We can make bone meal. It does take a long time. It will give us flour, but um, I think we're better off doing acorn meal and, and the rest, so we probably won't be doing that. Yeah. Okay, all right, we're a little bit on the hungry side, so I think I think going out hunting probably would be the best thing for us to do. We might try and do a, a quick little hunt before the episode is through. So we have 20 wooden arrows. Um, let's go ahead and drop the rocks back. The flute we're going to go ahead and drop. Hopefully it doesn't stay active. We dropped it while it was active. Are we still hearing music? Is that a thing? Does it stay active? Okay, right. To play it okay good 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 i was like uh that'll be weird right uh we're gonna leave the sealed stomach there the neoprene we'll go ahead and drop down the bottom for the time being okay we don't need to have the shovel with us we've got an extra wooden arrow which we probably don't need to bring with us leave that behind lighter we don't have we don't need to bring that with us i think what we'll do is we'll bring a swag bag just in case we need to um, carry back a little bit more meat. So we'll just take the one for now. We're going out hungry, which is, I guess, a little less than ideal, but it's why we're going out and we are going to attempt to hunt. Let's go here and grab the bow right away. Okay. We probably should have some kind of melee weapon with us. We've got the stone knife, which isn't terrible, but we're ideally not going for like creatures that are going to be able to do damage to us. 
the eels, etc., they're going to be a little too hard for us to hit. However, groundhogs and the like, as soon as they're kind of stuck in the corner there, we might be able to get away with this. We do have uh, groundhogs. We might be able to get the groundhog here. What are our chances to hit? Our chances to hit are pretty damn slim. We've got an arrow all the way down there. More than likely going to uh, miss here. Yeah, our, our chances to hit with this bow are very, very slim. So we're going to try and take a precise shot. And we miss badly. Yeah, see the chances to hit 11, 14, we're not very good with this bow. And I don't know if it's just because it's the short bow or if it's just our archery skill is too low. It also could be that this is quite a... Uh, a, a quick creature, so it's quite hard for us to hit. Probably not worth us wasting the arrows on it, really, now that I think about it. Yeah. And we don't want to try and use the rest of our atlatls, either. So, guess we'll leave them for now. We'll see if we can find anything bigger, like another raccoon or something of a like out here. We've got some more fish. We've got a duck, we've got some perch. The duck, the duck is probably going to be just as difficult for us to hit, although we kind of can corner it. Uh, you've, you've dived into the water. Okay, so the ducks can swim. That makes perfect sense. Well, that is what it is. We're hungry. Just trying to have a look on the map to see if we're seeing anything else other than these ones. I'm going to try and see if we can get a little bit closer here. Yeah, the, see the percentage just doesn't get any better at all with the precise aim. So... I guess we've got to start somewhere, but I just don't want to waste arrows on something that isn't on land. Now the fox, the fox we might be able to actually get. Okay, we do have a corpse up. Oh, these are human corpses. Yeah, they are human corpses. Okay, so hopefully the fox is going to pay us no mind. We're going to try and get a little closer. Try and see if we can get a slightly better shot. Okay, right. A precise shot embeds the arrow into the fox. It starts to try to run towards us, actually. It's coming to attack us. I'm quite surprised by that. Okay, but before it can get to us, we do get that final shot in. Killing the beast. Okay, well, let's see what we can get from the fox. We'll take absolutely everything we can, bones included. Okay, that's good. Get our breath back. Go hunting again. Let's see. Okay. Jackrabbits, perches, groundhogs, all quite small creatures. Much better off probably using the sling on those. I mean, the sling I should probably try and bring with us because, it, you know, the, the ammunition of it is so light. I think it's probably going to be a better um, tool for us to use against those animals. Now, the beavers, the beavers we know are aggressive. I want to see if I can get his attention. Okay. No luck as of yet. Are you... You're still not paying any attention to me. Alright, we need to go closer, otherwise we're going to waste a lot of our arrows here. Okay, we'll take that. It's a hit. It's tracking. It's moving away onto us. And we've got our marksmanship increased. It's now level 2, so we should stand a pretty... Well, at least a better shot at hitting them. And we have taken the beaver down. So we'll go ahead and recollect our arrows. See how many we've got left. We're on to 17. So we have lost some along the way. That's all part of it. Let's go ahead and take everything we can again. Catch our breath back. The beavers seem to be the best thing for us to go for because uh, they're one of the easier creatures to hit. Um, so we'll keep our eye out for them. They do seem to hang along the shoreline. Okay. Oh, we've got a black rat. Now the rats can be aggressive, so it means that you stand a better chance of actually hitting them. So we'll see if we can go for this guy. Wow, the chances to hit are tiny. And it probably is because it's such a small animal. So we'll try and step a little closer. Try and take a precise shot. I, I'm not even seeing where those arrows are going. I want to try and track them down though. Are they just gone? Wow, are they just gone? Huh. I guess maybe they broke on impact. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, they just disappeared. Straight up disappeared. Giant fly. Maybe. Oh, hang on. No, we got a raccoon. Okay, is it getting towards... It seems to be like getting darker. It's not sunset, is it? This is morning. Uh, maybe it isn't. Okay. Weird. Is it evening then? Must be evening. Okay, well we need to get a little bit closer to have any shot of getting this raccoon. 
Yeah, it's still a very average chance. Yep. Not a chance in hell. Yep, okay, well let's just go after those arrows. It seems to let us get pretty close to it. It doesn't know what we're doing yet. Okay, that should be a hit here. Wow, it's not. Wow, okay. Uh, well, with it getting dark, we should actually be heading back home. I totally misread our little uh, thing. Oh god, it's going to get quite dark before we manage to make it back home. Luckily, thankfully, the... Okay. I was going to say, thankfully, the moon is out tonight, so we actually have a slightly better chance of seeing. But uh, that moon is now gone, so we're going to go soon back in. And we're going to make sure that we get this man back home safely. Hopefully, nothing comes for us in the night. Because as we know, some animals prefer to hunt during the evening. So we should be able to make our way pretty much straight across this uh, area. We need to go a little bit more southeast just because we don't want to be running into the bee that likes to hang around. So we'll just walk along the shoreline, avoiding any uh, <laughs> jawed terrors, hopefully crossing our fingers on that one, and see if we can make our way back. Okay, don't dive into the water. Okay, I was moving a little too fast there. And our home should be just to the north of us. There we go. Okay, fantastic. We're back home. We made it. And it's not an amazing hunt. We came back with some food, so it's better than nothing at the very least. So let's go ahead and see. First of all, we're probably going to try and cook up those stomachs. We're going to end up eating them. We don't get a huge amount of nutrition from them, but it's better than nothing. So go ahead and boil both of those. We're just using the charcoal to be able to do it. Oh, we need to be able to see to craft those. So I guess we will end up using this instead. So go ahead and move, let's just say, another 20 again. So M20, bam. Activate. Get that thing on. Okay. Boiled stomach. Seeing as the fire is on, we're going to use it. Would make sense to. Okay. Hot boiled stomach. Better than nothing. We're going to wear the bow. And we're going to wield the bone flute. Activating it as well. Playing a flute into the night. Alright, let's see. Pelmini. Pelmini. Water, clean water, chunk of meat, and flour. Nice, not bad. Cooked dumpling consisting of meat. That was a very loud noise. Um, that's kind of cool. But I don't think we're going to make it for now. Uh, we're going to cook up these other pieces of meat. Uh, and we're probably just going to have them as is, I reckon. Although that can just use raw meat. It is going to use some of our flour. It's going to be a better meal for us. That's a lot of nutrition. And we get two portions from it as well. That's not bad, actually, now that I look at it. Probably going to be better for us to make three of these pelminis. So it's essentially just a cooked dumpling with meat inside. Nice. Okay. Two days to rot. Yeah, we'll be able to eat them. Uh, question is... Oh, hang on. No, no, no. We can fail at this. So we are going to do them one at a time. Just in case. So we'll try and make one using flour. Okay. All right, we succeeded. Well, let's go ahead and eat that one if we can. Uh, we'll eat the, bo the boiled stomachs first because we don't want them to go to waste. We're going to have some of that clean water. And um, before we do the other one, we are going to make the offal. So we'll go ahead, do all of that offal. Okay, and we're going to eat the, the hot offal. Okay, yeah. The pelmeni lasts for a little bit longer. Okay, nice. Going back over here. Let's just go ahead, just make the one, if we can. We fail? Okay, that's all right. How close are we? We're on 91. We're close. We didn't waste any materials. Let's try again. Shoot, we failed, but we got to four. Okay, so we got to level four. That's the main thing. Sure, we wasted some of the materials in, but now when we do it again, we should succeed. Perfect. Okay, so we did it. We got to level four cooking, so that's pretty freaking awesome. Again, that's going to mean that we have even more options open to us um, for cooking, which is awesome. There's a whole heap of things here that we didn't have before. Um, as you can see, the list just gets longer and longer and longer the more skills you get at these things. And uh, I believe that was all of the Pelmini that we could make, but. Uh, I'm happy with that. I'm damn happy with that. That's good. We are going to have one of those now. Uh, you know what? We, yes, we will have one while it's hot. We'll reward him for all the uh, all the good work he's done so far. And we're going to leave those bones behind. Not bad. Not freaking bad. We are tired, so we are going to go to sleep. So let's go ahead, remove the cover, jump into our bed, and go to sleep. And this is going to be our 19th day 
here, our 19th day in the apocalypse. We've run a little over today, hope that's okay. It's the final one that I am recording for the week and I just wanted to make sure that we were leaving this off in a pretty good place and I feel like it is a pretty good place. God damn, we overslept though, so that's not great. Leif, you're being lazy, buddy. <laughs> I, I'm loving the plank. The plank works really well. We've got things planted. We should hopefully be able to plant some more. I think next thing that we're going to be doing is going out and trying to check in those bushes, trying to find some more wild things for us to plant so that we can make sure that we have a really big selection of food choices for us. Uh, that and just going out hunting more, preserving a whole heap of meat just so that we can make meals on the go. And um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with how we are at the moment. And I'd love still to get some of your suggestions for where you want to see Leif go in this. Um, eventually, somewhere down the track, I do want to get him building a boat and going out and exploring the area a little bit more. But I still feel like there is so much more that he can be doing at home and he can be working on. All those bodies, we need to get all of those rags, the leather patches, the felt patches and everything back. And even some of the clothing that we can you know, reutilize. I mean, the rain jackets are made of plastic, but I still think just having them as rain jackets would be great, especially with the constant rain that we seem to have in spring. It'll make a big difference. Thank you all for joining me for another episode, another week of life. It's been awesome. I feel like we made some wicked progress. We killed that damn wasp. That just, uh, that alone is awesome for me. Thank you all for joining me. I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.